Hey, just wanted to make a really quick example of your question. So uh, it's probably easier than uh, you had in mind, but I just created a very uh, simple setup of what you have here. So you have a user table, right? I have three users in here. Uh, we have lessons, and our reference to the user table is on lesson, right? And then we have our entries, and entries are related to lessons, right? Uh, so let's go ahead here, and I've just created this demo endpoint. So you said that you wanted to basically query all the entries for a given user. Um, so a couple things here. So um, I have authentication required. Um, and I'll show you why it's authentication is required when you require an endpoint to be hit for the user to actually be logged in. Uh, when that happens, we can actually grab what user it is from the auth token. You could also accomplish the same thing with the input. I'll show you that as well. But uh, we can actually just query um, our entries table because we have all the relationships already established. Um, the first thing we're going to do actually in this by join section is we can join our um, lessons table because we have that relationship. So we can say entries.lessonID is equal to our lesson ID. And what that does here in our custom query, which actually filters our result, is we have access to that lessons table here now. So I can say where that lessons.userID is equal to. And here I'm doing this auth ID, which is coming from the auth token. So only when the endpoint is authenticated can we use this. Um, let me go ahead and save that. Uh, so now if I went ahead and ran this, for example, let's run this for user one, who is Frank here. So we will get, let's see here. So we get um, entries C, E, and G for lessons four and five. So if we just go to our database and we go to our lessons four and five, we can see those both belong to Frank. So we're only getting the entries that belong to the user. Uh, now, of course, um, we can... Uh, now that we have, you know, this lesson ID, we could go ahead and start to decorate this data with add-ons if we wanted to know uh, what lesson that was. And then we would have that information. And then we could also add on uh, the user based on the lesson ID if we want to start to actually uh, explode that data with uh, that related information. Um, and so as mentioned, you could also accomplish this with the user ID if you are not requiring authentication. So let me just turn this off here. And then instead of the auth ID here, we would just use the input uh, user ID. So I'll show you that again. Let's do it for user two this time. User two will get some different results. We see uh, D, F, and I, which belong to lessons two uh, and three. And if we just go and check the database, we will see that two and three both belong to user two. So there you go. Hope that helps clear things up for you.